Ben, your friendly media manager from Game Announcement Cody, Game Movie Media, and all that other lovely stuff. Continuing the Super Paper Mario Wii play guide, and this is level 2.3, which is uh, the last level of the ghost house puzzle type house um, that's in this game. And as you can see, you've just come out. Level 2.2 .2 is on uh, the previous video. Um, you can find the links to that at the end of the video here. Um, and the basic plot is you've got Mimi here, who's obviously evil. Um, and she's set you up. There's no way you can actually get around this without knocking that vase off. You can jump on top of the block. There's no way around it. So she knocks it off. And she wants you to pay a million uh, rubies. Which at first I thought rupees were like uh, the Zelda levels. Which actually would have been really cool. Um, but I guess for legal reasons. Even though it's Nintendo, this is a third party game. So maybe they couldn't use that. I, I don't know. But there you go. You have to do a million, million rubies. Now, this is where people get stuck. Um, you'll see why. Because at first, there's only one way to get them. And if you did it a million times, you basically have to hit a question mark block. And for every time you hit it, you get a uh, one, one single ruby. So if you just sit there hitting it a million times, you'd be there for hours, if not days. Um, but there's a puzzle behind this to actually get a million rubies straight away. I'll show you some of the um, pitfalls of this actual level, um, but if you just follow the, the, the basic uh, structure of it, uh, you can get through this level quite quickly and quite easily. Um, so hopefully this is uh, useful to you. I know a lot of people on uh, looking at forums and things, a lot of you are have been stuck on this, especially you younger gamers out there. Um, so my daughter will probably end up watching this when she gets stuck playing this because I've given it to her now. So here we go. Here's the uh, workroom, if you will. Excuse me, I've got a bit of a sniffle today. Um, you can talk to this guy, and he lets you start working. Um, I think I'll demonstrate just just how what, how little they pay you. So watch this. So you jump onto one of these blocks, but make sure you speak to him properly first, because otherwise he doesn't pay you. So you can do it. You've been doing the blocks all the time. You're not going to get paid. So you speak to him first. Hit the blocks. Make energy. Earn rubies. Okay, why not? So imagine if you have to hit this block a million times, it would take hours and hours and hours and hours, which I guess you could theoretically do it that way if you're insane. But here, you hit it a few times, time passes, because I got bored. So I hit it 28 times, <laughs> and it took a while. So here's the puzzle behind it. So there's a there's a passcode for another secret workroom, which will come in handy very later. You do have to do some work in both the rooms to actually make this work. To give you an idea, so obviously there's a little plot where she's set lots of people up with uh, with promises of fame and glory or whatever, and then she, you end up being trapped here. So you have to find the secret guy who is there. You're going to 3D to find him. He's got some info. Now, you don't even have to do this. You could actually, theoretically, if you if you watch the part of the level where you get the secret codes, you just put the codes in. You don't even have to do all this. Uh, but if you want to play it properly, this is how you do it. But the codes will go on the screen. So if you just want to go straight to the um, main room um, in the middle and put the code in, or if you want to go straight to the main room at the top, which you'll know, you'll know when you see it, and just put the code in, you can just skip this level completely. That's entirely up to you. I'll leave it to your uh, judgment. Although it does kind of, you know, spoil the point of having a game if you if you're not going to play a part of it. But it's it's entirely up to you. Here you mean here here's what you need to do. You have to open this room at the top of the level up in the the hidden room in the rafters. We've got this ladder. You climb to the top and he tells you it's basically a safe. It's got a million rubies in it. So if you want to skip right to the end and put the code in, you can do. And the code is late coming later on in the video. And you can't just do that. See, what you have to do is, is basically use uh, Slim to become thin and then let the lasers pass over you and then move on and move on and move on and just put the code in at the end. So you can do that if you wish. But you have to find Slim first. Got a boot card. Whatever. 
turn into uh, Peach. Float across. And go in the staff room that's here. So there you go. This is where you have to um, you have to find Slim, who's one of your sprites. So if you just float straight across with Peach and get Slim, and then just go straight to the top of the level, go for the lasers using Slim, and then put the passcode in, which I'm going to show you in a bit, you can skip this level completely. If that's what you want to do, to, if you want to cheat and do that, more power to you. But this is how you did a level. So here's showing you how to go through how to go through the lasers of Slim. So you press the uh, number one button to use the sprite special powers, like like all the other sprites. Stand very still; nothing can hurt you. Go right to the end. Let lasers pass over you. La -da 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 -da. There you go. And you put the passcode in. And the passcode's at the end, towards uh, about halfway along the uh, the video here. Or if you want to play it properly, you collect Slim, you come out that wall there, and you go into this door here. And you speak to this guy. So what you have to do is, is earn 100 rubies. So you have to go back to the first room. Earn 100 rubies, just hit the block 100 times, it doesn't take too long. Give him 100 rubies, and it gives you the VIP room password, which is 5963. Um... Go to that VIP room, which is on the top floor in the middle. Put 5963. Please enter. And this is where you earn rubies really, really, really quickly. Now, remember that there was that, um, that little dude uh, that we spoke to earlier, and he wanted 10,000 rubies to get uh, the code to the safe. So if there's running this thing here for about two, maybe three minutes... Get enough rubies or earn enough. Leave the room and then go and speak to the guy who wanted to give you information for 10,000 uh, rubies. So here we go. So you go to the hidden guy. Give him the. Pay the man his money. Or his diamonds, whatever the hell they're supposed to be. Rubies. Okay, and he says, listen, good. Bima was napping, she was sleep talking, and she was talking in her sleep. And that is the safe key right there. So if you want to skip like, like like I showed you earlier on and go straight through here. Put the passcode in. 4126281 and I think that was 6. Open the door and you can skip the level completely if that's what you want to do. But remember you have to get slim first of course. So all you have to do is go to slim. Write that password down on my video and... <laughs> Just go to the top here, get the rubies, and go on to the next level. Because to be fair, this level does get a bit tedious, I'll, I'll admit. As fun as it is for a while. And then you can just fall straight down to the bottom floor. Go into the uh, bank of the level and pay the woman her money. She gets annoyed and that's it. Um, so yeah, that's the end of level 2.3 uh, or 4, whichever it is. It's level World 2 anyway. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at Moobit, and um, obviously uh, I'm part of the Game Daz Network. Go and check out our newly relaunched site. It's very, very shiny, shiny, shiny. And uh, please give this a comment, a like, a subscribe, a share, anything you want to do. It really helps, you know, make, makes all this work worthwhile. And uh, if you want to if you want to know any other gameplay guides or anything like that, let me know in the comments below or on Twitter at Moobit, and I'll see what I can do for you. Until next time, I'm going to leave you to uh, watch her head explode. And click the star, and I'll see you on the next review on the next video, which you can click by clicking the next video link right at the end of this this video right here. Take it easy.
like to move it, move it, fit, fit, 